meteorologist Monica Cortez joining us now. You know it was a hot day when uh, still 90 degrees out right now. <laughs> at what true. time? 10, 15, <laughs> close to? Such a hot day today. Guys, today we matched the record high. So in the yeah. record books, it is a new record for El Paso. Mm. 103 degrees set in 2022. Check this out. So yeah, Andy is absolutely right. We are looking at 92 degrees at the airport right now. So a very hot day. 32 mile per hour gusts at the airport. Westerly winds at about 22 miles per hour. So this is just kicking off our Memorial Day weekend basically with those winds. We're going to be seeing windy conditions for the next three days. So today we officially registered, like I said, 103 degrees, 101 in Las Cruces. 103 is the record set in 1951. We matched it today, so you can say we set it again. 64 degrees was your how we started off this morning. 66 is normal. So we were slightly around seasonal for this morning. And tonight, going into tomorrow morning, it looks like it's going to be a mild overnight. So we have those winds, which are not subsiding anytime soon. So those winds are actually going to deter us from really cooling. And that's why we're expecting to stay in those 70s, 59 in Las Cruces and in those 60s in Juarez. So we do expect to continue to see this massive high pressure system settling right over our area. This is what's going to give us the opportunity to see those really hot temperatures Saturday. And then as this cold front begins to push through, we're going to begin to slowly cool as we see those winds and partly cloudy skies. It's going to be that cloud cover that's going to be crucial for us to really see those temperatures cool a little bit in the afternoon hour. So this is what it looks like. We're expecting to see 100 degrees Saturday, 20 to 30 miles miles per hour. We'll see a repeat of that on Sunday with a forecast high of 96 degrees and then around seasonal Monday, but we do expect to see 20 to 30 mile per hour winds. So windy nonetheless, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then for Las Cruces, we're expecting to see a high of 101 degrees. Southwesterly winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. So it's going to be a little bit on the calmer side of things, but we'll still expect to see those strong winds for the rest of the weekend. We do expect to see this next cold front come in. This is going to be a big player weather wise for us next week. So as it descends, it's actually going to be producing some thunderstorm chances. Now I know we're a little far from it, but on Wednesday, I'm actually seeing an increase in moisture in our atmosphere. We are seeing the possibility of heavy rainfall that day from the possibility of widespread storms. Wednesday lingering into Thursday. So that is quite exciting considering we have not seen any kind of precipitation over our area these last few weeks. We do expect to see that 30% chance of rain Wednesday, 20% chance of rain Thursday. We expect to drop to about 30, 93 degrees Thursday, 92 Friday, and then slowly warming into next weekend. And real quickly, I do want to give a big shout out to our loyal weather watcher. This one goes to Raquel Cortez, no relation. She is just a big weather watch your fan and thank you so much for tuning in all the time. Big shout out to you. This is a sunflower on a sunny El Paso day. And if you'd like to be featured on KTSM 9 News, go ahead and submit those beautiful weather photos to us through our social media platforms or email news at KTSM.com. We'll be right back. Segments